Stuart Diver, General Manager of Threadbow. Join me live from Merritt's Gondola Top Station. That sounds good. First time I've ever said it, and uh, it's the first time, Stu, that we've had a gondola in Australia. Yeah, well, it is, Tim, and uh, I am sure you would love to be down here today because it's uh, a pretty amazing uh, morning down here in Threadbow. Lots of skiers uh, coming up and enjoying the cruiser area, opening up for the first time today. But, yeah, it's been an amazing week just to get open. Well, tell us about the gondola. I mean, the gondola, it's the first Alpine gondola in Australia uh, behind me. takes eight people in a cabin. Uh, instead of taking 20 minutes to get up here like the old chair did, it takes six minutes. And it's, uh, it's just going to revolutionise the way that people move around the mountain and the way they're able to enjoy Threbo. Stuart, obviously, you spent your life in that region. How difficult has the past eight to ten months been with bushfires and, and then COVID-19? Yeah, it's definitely been a, a tricky few months. I mean, six weeks ago, we didn't even think we were going to get the uh, season open. To, so to be open this week and uh, to be able to have skiers and snowboarders down here enjoying it, it definitely has been you know, a testament to, to my team in Threadbow and the, and the work that they've put in, working with all government departments and uh, yeah, across the board to make sure that we got this, uh, this season up and running. So how is it operating? Obviously, social distancing still needs to happen. Uh, what are some of the basics that uh, you guys have to follow in the snow? Yeah, basically, it's all about social distancing, whether that's in lift lines or on the lifts. Yeah, we let make fewer people load on the lifts to make sure they're 1.5 metres apart. You know, buildings the same as everywhere across the rest of the state. So it really is pretty important um, that we follow that. Increased sanitisation plans and hygiene. So there's a lot of cleaning going on, extra staff, and just making sure that Threadbow can be as safe as it can for our guests, our staff, and, and obviously the wider community in the Snowy Mountains. Yeah, look, it's been a difficult time for so many people. Uh, and, and recreation and the snow is, is such a part of many, many people's lives. What sort of reaction have you had so far? Yeah, well, it's been awesome from people because, you know, skiing, I, I didn't realise how important it was in people's lives, as you said. You know, it's, it's a pretty amazing pastime for people to escape and I think people have been locked up for, for a, a couple of months now and I think it's, uh, you know, to get out and about, as we've seen across the rest of the state, is uh, what people want to do. So hopefully, yeah, they'll come down here and enjoy the mountains. Oh, it's, a, it's a fantastic achievement that you've actually got the gondola built and ready now, uh, taking into consideration the bushfires. How did that affect the logistical situation of trying to get it done? Yeah, well, it was, I mean, it was pretty tricky. I mean, the team that built it in thread by the engineering team and Doppelmayr did an amazing job. Uh, it's the first lift that's ever been commissioned remotely uh, from Austria, which is a pretty impressive effort. So there were a lot of cameras around and a lot of talking and a lot of working uh, at different hours to what we're used to. But, yeah, just an amazing effort from the team to, to get it in with, you know, what was basically a 10-day delay in the end. Yeah, and it does. Uh, it's a bluebird day there today. What are conditions like? Uh, conditions, is, it's still pretty early season. We're relying a lot on uh, man-made snow, but you can probably hear the, the snow guns still going in the background. So we've got you know, four or five massive days of snow making coming on. on. So hopefully, uh, as, uh, as we get more snow on the ground, we'll be able to open up more terrain. But really exciting to get the Merritts and Cruiser area open today. And then hopefully as the week goes on, we'll, uh, we'll expand out onto the rest of the mountain. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about these days. You know, if you've got Merritts and Cruiser open at Threadbow, you can have a wonderful day anyway. Uh, what about going forward? I'm hearing some long, for, long, long forecasts from AccuWeather and other spaces that we may see snow into October. Yeah, well, I mean, it's looking like a late season. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get through July and then it looks like there's some pretty substantial falls through August into September, which would be amazing. Um, and that would really help us. Obviously, some restrictions will ease, hopefully, by that time and uh, we'll be able to release a few more tickets into the marketplace and, and get a few more people down here to enjoy Threadbow. Must be a real relief for you, Stuart, uh, being able to keep people employed as well because it is a destination work-wise for many young Australians and it's almost, a, you know, it's almost a pilgrimage for many. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're one of the biggest employers in the Snowy Mountains. We employ over a 1,000 people. Uh, and so if, uh, if we hadn't opened, you know, that's a 1,000 people in the local area who are out of work. And on top of that, there's a lot of small businesses, uh, you know, not just in Threadbow, but in Jindabyne and out through Cooma, who really rely on the resorts being open. So it's been, uh, you know, even with reduced capacity, it's been a real win for us. And, yeah, and a huge amount of effort's gone into it. So those first turns I did on Friday flat on Monday were a great relief. Yeah, oh, exactly. There must have been a lot of hours going to it from your team and others and government officials 
Uh, you mentioned before that there was a time there where you thought, well, we're not going to be able to open. That would have been catastrophic for the industry, wouldn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just the thousand people that we employ, but, you know, it is billions of dollars that the resorts generate uh, across both states, Victoria and New South Wales. And so for that not to occur, uh, yeah, it would have been economically devastating for the area. A huge few weeks, of course. I know some parts of Australia are on holidays and, uh, and others are just about to go on holidays. So it's going to get very, very busy where you are. Yeah, it is. I mean, we've got uh, capacity constraints in place, so we're regulating how many people can actually come down and get out on the mountain. That's what we agreed with government as to how we were going to regulate the crowds uh, down here. So we're doing that. We're only selling the, the tickets that we can with the terrain available. So, yeah, some people are going to miss out uh, this school holidays, but I think it's definitely going to be a busy one. And, uh, yeah, and it looks like it's going to be a great one if the weather stays like this. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And hopefully we'll have a long snow season and... Uh more people get the opportunity over the coming months. Uh, just quickly, uh, what, what's the best way for people to contact Threadba? Uh, basically, the best way to get information is on our website, threadbo.com.au. Um, that's where all the information in regards to ticketing, in regards to uh, COVID-19, everything that we're doing uh, down here to make sure it's safe for our, for our guests and staff. Um, jump on that website and that's where all the info is. Yeah, it's a little, bit of, little piece of heaven on earth, Threadbo. Thanks for joining us today, Stuart. We'll catch up with you soon. No worries, Tim. Thanks for your time.